I came with the hummus, but the bitch came too. She care with the titties, but the hips ain't new. I just see you sitting with the switch play Uh, I think he a slut. Fuck me while I throw a couple ones on him. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to achieve this look. These three bundles are from Hot Braids of their Silky Straight 22 inches braiding hat. So I saw this video on the Clock app. When I saw that video, I was like, I really want to recreate this. I also want the hair to look a bit fuller. So essentially, this is supposed to be a braids bust down. This style is also a mixture between pick and drop and also the mermaid style if you want to see how i was able to achieve this look then continue watching okay so the first thing that i've done is i've just parted my hair from like ear to ear so this will be the front this is the back and um i'm gonna start off with the back even though i have work on monday and i'm just listen i know this has this hair has to get done like it has to be finished so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna part this ear to ear. I need to get my other mirror. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna part this ear to ear. Part this like yeah so for the back pieces as you guys will see in a minute i don't i don't need the hair to be this long half it blend this in again so we're just gonna this is enough for me to work with now so that's nice and feathered i'm gonna take the human hair and for the back because the hair is a bit thinner i will be doing a knotted braid because of now we can feed in the hair <clears throat> okay let me zoom in for a bit for you guys okay so hopefully you guys can see but what we're gonna do is we're gonna part the hair here when i part the hair i like to part it on top of the box so that is like the brick method or the like it looks like bricks um and this is a great size for me i don't use any gel as if i haven't already mentioned that we're going to split the hair into three and then we start to braid and again you braid up so i like to braid as high as possible because braid needs to start in the middle of the box and not at the bottom then we're going to add our third piece of hair and then we're going to add our first piece of human hair take out that human hair and then we're going to continue to braid and then we will add in a bit more hair you know when you just do something, you don't think about it, so explaining it to someone is, is a bit different. And that's a braid done. I really wanted to get this done by six, and then I need to start on the front, because I've got... To I know I'm not going to finish this front. <clears throat> oh, My plan is to half it, right, and then use that so it can start to um, layer itself. Now, where the comb is, I'm going to lie to you, yesterday I was so tired. So, I don't know if it's like a thing, like as you get older, come 10, 11 o'clock, I'm tired. My hair is also thin around the front, 
So what that means is I don't do small braids. I do not like the hair to like, you know, way too much and then it will just like start to pull out more hairs because the box is thinner the hair is heavier there's not enough hairs per braid so instead i'm just going to do two big ones and call it a night look at the mess behind me look when you're doing your hair anything goes like it's nine o'clock i want my hair done like, I just want my hair done. So you can judge me all you want. Yeah, okay. So we're going to just park this. Where's the hair? Okay. So, and I'm going to... I can't plait this hair. And there's no way I'd be able to grip that. So I'm leaving that, which is why we're starting the braids from here. But we can break this. But we have to be a bit mindful. So anyway, I'm going to use my freezer spray. And I'm just going to spray that on top, right, and then we're going to mould so basically this freezer spray is good for like um, picking up the hair by basically just letting it grip without um, Personally, I don't have a great grip with it, and <clears throat> it just makes braiding the hair harder. And I am going to do a knotless braid because it's at the front, and I'm not trying to pull out the hairs. They're even shy to come, so. I forgot that it's actually June, and it's supposed to be summer. But I'm sat here thinking, what the hell? Like, have I got hot flushes or something? <laughs> The hair is finished, so now basically I want to add some layers to the hair. I don't even have proper scissors, I just have fabric scissors. Start the styling process, so... Start by sectioning, so create a narrow mohawk section with hair from the top and crown. Okay, so he said create a narrow, create a mohawk here. Right, so that's at the back. For better control, subdivide the section as you cut by dropping the bottom part out. This so I just need to isolate to... with a clip. Don't cut me. the bottom by cutting a guide at the chest with a small piece of hair from the wall. Okay, so I'd probably do it right here. So at the moment it's here, but I think yeah, I want it about here. So I'm just gonna cut it like that. And then clip your guide on the other side and repeat the process. If you're concerned about cutting too much length in the front, try tucking your elbow into your ribs while you're cutting palm to palm. This naturally encourages the palm to lift, which creates the diagonal line and maintains the length of this haircut. Now that we cut the sides, we'll now to style, we're applying Canra Professional Volume Mousse from roots to ends. Once you blow dry, the hair should look something like this. Personalize the texture as needed with point cutting and slicing techniques. Here's how to cut feathered layers on super long hair. Start by sectioning, so create a narrow mohawk section with hair from the top and crown. Lift, which creates the diagonal line and maintains the length of this haircut. Now that we cut the sides, we'll split the back in half and connect them to the sides with the same cutting motions. Now let's personalize the texture as needed with point cutting and slicing techniques. And I like to customize the front by heating it up and creating extra root lift. Okay, so this is what the hair is looking like at the moment. Bit choppy and definitely needs some more blending. So this is what the hair looks like. So it's less choppy, but we still have that blunt, that so I'm just doing this to kind of like thin it out. Because we don't want it to be choppy. I need it to be gradual. And then I'm just going to do the same to this side. So... Okay, I'm gonna finish just, you know, making sure that we don't have any of this. Well, I'm just gonna do that to the rest of the hair. I'm gonna come back and style it and then I'll show you what it looks like.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm loving this look so far. I'm going to see how it holds up and I'll obviously let you guys know. Otherwise, yeah, thank you so much guys for watching my video. And I will catch you in my next one. Talk to she left him cause I'm finna toss her I feel like Beyonce, I'm finna upgrade you Kick it down, cool, put it work on you